So y'all may remember the $18 phone that was my last video. Today, it's back. Now you may notice, wow, that thing looks pretty beat up. And that's because I wanted to answer the question, how durable is an $18 phone? So I did some things. And those things may have resulted in something like this happening. But it took running this phone over with a car to do this. I originally just um, intended on going outside, dropping this onto the concrete, you know, 10, 15 times until something broke. Um, but that's not the case. I dropped this thing probably 50, 60 times. I uh, took a big rock and chucked it on top of here. Nothing. Still worked. So then I ran it over with my car. And that's when the display broke. But the thing is, is that the actual phone itself still works. Like if you power it on and you type in a number and you press call, you can still talk to someone. You just, the display doesn't work. So then I want to find out, well, what does it actually take to destroy this thing? So the entire phone is made of plastic, obviously. As is the camera lens. There's not one metal piece on the outside of the sun or anything that's really structural for it, as that goes. Um, so let's see if we can just bend this in half. See if we can break it like that. Alright, now it seems like it locks out pretty heavily. Let's try that again. Yeah, no. So that's not gonna that's not gonna break like that. Um there is a crack right here in the phone. Yeah, let me see if I can. Alright, there you go. You can see a better view of that crack right there. Um and that's right where a screw goes in. I didn't do it on the other side. And overall, the phone is still in pretty half-decent working condition. You can also see how torn up the bottom is from dropping it probably 30 or 40 times on the bottom side from about head height. So I'm going to try to bend this one more time. No. That's not gonna break. Um, it's not even really bent out of shape at all. Like the the da all the damage that came from that was just this crack right here in the frame. But other than that, the fence fine, and you can still call someone on this. But what about water? So here I just have a bucket of water. See the phone is on. That's a which is it's bubbling, so the phone is filling up with water. And we'll let this sit here for a second. So I can actually push down on the phone and make bubbles come out. Alright, so the phone's been sitting in here for probably about 10 minutes, and it hasn't died. So what we're going to do next is add salt to the water. Which should hopefully make the water more conductive and the prone more, the phone more prone to dying. All right, so now we're gonna let that sit. So this would be like taking your phone, th this phone, into the ocean and forgetting that it's in your pocket. 
And now it's been it's been sitting in here for probably about five minutes or so with the salt in it. And it's I mean I'm not I haven't seen a single change the buttons. They still work. I have no idea. Alright, first sign of damage actually. Um the flashlight no longer works. Um used to be able to hold down the zero button and get the flashlight to turn on. But nothing is happening. Alright, so I'm going to re uh, remove the back cover. And I'm going to set the phone in here like this. This will hopefully give the water uh, easier access to the electronics. So we'll let that sit for a little longer. Alright, so it's been about another 10 minutes. And the phone is still alive and I have no idea how. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out, dry it off, and open up the inside of the phone and see if water is in there or if somehow it's managing to seal it off. Alright, update. The flashlight turned on and now it won't turn off. So it seems like this button may just be dead. So the phone is making some very weird sounds. The flashlight's turned off. Alright, let's see if we can power it on. I think that may be it. Alright, so there's a, actually there's a water damage indicator right there, and it's been triggered, so water has gotten in here. Grab my micro SD card out. Um, there's the one on the battery. And the phone is dead. So that's gonna be it. And every time I put the battery in... The speakers, I don't know if y'all can hear that, they make this weird sizzling sound, kind of sound like bacon, it's very weird, but um, yeah I mean I guess that'll do it, I guess that, that is what it takes to kill this fan, and I'm sure in a few hours the insides of this fan are going to be completely corroded mess because of the salt water. But, I mean, pretty much you can take this phone anywhere, do anything you want with it, and really not be worried about it. Um, I'm not, it's powering back on. It's really struggling. It's like trying to hang on for dear life. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. You better look at that display. It's super dim. But, I mean, it's really trying to hang on for dear life right now. It's flickering really hard. The flashlight's turning on and off. It's gonna be dead within a matter of minutes. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and call this phone dead. I really doubt at this point that I would be able to make a call. Um... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.